sending us back to an unsafe environment, whether it's an, a staff member or a child. Concerned parents and teachers expressing their dissatisfaction with Quebec's back to school plan at a rally outside the Minister of Education's office in Montreal with just days to go until students return to the classrooms. They're calling on Minister Jean Francois Roberge for more safety measures. Montreal is probably going to be one of the only, if not the only, large city that goes back with a full capacity of students with no mask in the classroom. So we are really worried about schools becoming a hotbed for new COVID cases. They're saying that it's bad psychologically for kids to wear masks. How does that even work? We can wear masks just as well as anyone else. Masks in Quebec schools will only have to be worn in common areas and children will be allowed to take them off in the classroom, which are being considered bubbles. Students will stay in the same group and room all day while it's the teachers that will move around. Some are criticizing the system. A sibling groups that are going to be in multiple grades. There are kids who are neighbors. There are kids who carpool together. Who is going to control what, who they meet up with at lunch, where where they hang out at lunch, after school, I'm very concerned. So already, the beginning of the school year is a moment of high uncertainty and high anxiety. Now it's compounded by this other uh, existential issue. You know, what are the things that parents should not do? Don't transfer your anxieties to your children. But some students at the rally Sunday already feeling the stress, a week shy of back to school. If a parent isn't comfortable sending their children to school or the child isn't comfortable going to school, they should be allowed to stay at home if they want to without being scared that they're not going to get a proper education for it. A group of Quebec parents has filed legal action against the provincial government in hopes of securing a distance learning option for families who don't want their children to physically attend school this fall since online learning is only only being offered for children who themselves or have people in their household who have a medical exemption. Many say it's essential parents and kids be given the option to stay home or have their child be part of a smaller work group. We need to invest in our buildings. We need fresh air pumping into our classrooms and not feel like, am I getting sick from coming to school? In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.